Blessed is our God, always now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee. O heavenly King, Comforter, Spirit of Truth, Lord, everywhere present and fill us all things. Treasury of good things and giver of life, come and dwell in us and cleanse us of all impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord, blot out our sins, O Master, pardon our iniquities, O Holy One. Visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, unto the age of salvation. Amen. Whatever mercy, 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 whatever mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O come, let us worship God our King. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King of God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ Himself, our King of God. How beloved are thy dwellings, O Lord, and most my soul longing and faint for the courts of the Lord, my heart and my flesh have rejoiced in the living God. For the sparrow hath found herself a house, and the turtle dove a nest for herself, where she may lay her young. Even thine altars, O Lord, post my King and my God. Blessed are they that dwell in thy house, and to ages of ages shall they praise thee. Blessed is the man who self is from thee, he hath made a sense in his heart, and the veil of weeping in the place which he hath appointed. Yea, for the lawgiver will give blessings, they shall go from strength to strength, the God of God shall be seen in Zion. O Lord of hosts, hearken unto my prayer. Give ear, O God of Jacob, O God our defender. Behold and look upon the face of thine anointed one. For better is one day in thy courts than thousands elsewhere. I have chosen rather to be an outcast in the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of sinners. For the Lord loveth mercy and truth. God will give grace and glory. The Lord will not withhold good things from them that walk in innocence. O Lord God of hosts, blessed is the man that hopeth in thee. Thou hast been gracious, O Lord, unto thy land, thou hast turned back the captivity of Jacob. Thou hast forgiven the iniquities of thy people, thou hast covered all their sins. Thou hast made all thy wrath to cease, thou hast turned back from the wrath of thine anger. Turn us back, O God of our salvation, and turn away thy anger from us. Wilt thou be wroth with us into the ages? Or wilt thou draw out thy wrath from generation to generation? O God, thou wilt turn and quicken us, and thy people shall be glad in thee. Show us, O Lord, thy mercy and thy salvation that thou give unto us. I will hear what the Lord God will speak in me, for he will speak peace to his people and to his saints, and to them that turn their heart unto him. Surely and I unto them that fear and miss his salvation, that glory may dwell in our land. Mercy and truth are met together, righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Truth is sprung out of the earth, and righteousness hath looked down from heaven. Yea, for the Lord will give goodness, and our land shall yield her fruit. Righteousness shall go before him, and shall set his footsteps in the way. Bow down thy ear, O Lord, and hearken unto me, for poor and needy am I. Preserve my soul, for I am holy. Save thy servant, O my God, that hopeth in thee. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for unto thee will I cry all the day long. May glad the soul of thy servant, for unto thee have I lifted up my soul. For thou, O Lord, art good and gentle and plenteous in mercy unto all them that call upon thee. Give your own word unto my prayer, and attend unto the voice of my supplication. In the day of mine affliction have I cried unto thee, for thou hast heard me. There is none like unto thee among the gods, O Lord, nor are there any works like unto thy works. All the nations whom thou hast made shall come and shall worship before thee, O Lord, and shall glorify thy name. For thou art great, and workest wonders, thou alone art God. Guide me, O Lord, in thy way, and I will walk in thy truth. Let my heart rejoice that I may fear thy name. I will confess thee, O Lord, my God, with all my heart, and I will glorify thy name forever. For great is thy mercy upon me, and thou hast delivered my soul from the nethermost Hades. O God, transgressors have risen up against me, and the assembly of the mighty hath sought after my soul, and they have not sent thee before them. But thou, O Lord, my God, art compassionate and merciful, long-suffering, and plenteous in mercy and truth. 
Look upon me and have mercy upon me. Give thy strength unto thy servant and save the son of thy handmaid. Work in me a sign of the good and let them that hate me behold and be put to shame for thou, Lord, has hoped me and comforted me. Work in me a sign of the good and let them that hate me behold and be put to shame for thou, Lord, has hoped me and comforted me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to the O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to the O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to the O God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Let us honor the Holy Barbara, for the most honored one broke the snares of the enemy and was delivered from them like a bird with the help and aid of the cross. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, O instructor of orthodoxy, teacher of piety and purity, beacon for the whole world, John most wise. By thy doctrine, thou hast illumined all. O harp of the Spirit, entreat Christ God, that our souls be saved. Hope now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O thou who for our sake was born of a virgin, and didst suffer crucifixion, O good one, and didst despoil death by death. And as God didst reveal the resurrection, disdain not them which thou hast fashioned with thy hand. Show forth thy love for mankind, no merciful one, except the Theotokos who gave thee birth and interceded for us. And do thou, our Savior, save a despairing people. Deliver us not up utterly for thy holy name's sake, neither disannul thou thy covenant, and cause not thy mercy to depart from us. For Abraham's sake, thy beloved, and for Isaac's sake, thy servant, and for Israel's thy holy one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord, blot out our sins, O Master, pardon our iniquities, O Holy One. Visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the age of the days of Amen. Following God, who is piously hidden in Trinity, O athlete, thou didst dim the pagan temples, and suffering amid thy contest, O barber of manly mind, thou didst not fear the threats of the tyrants, ever chanting aloud, I worship the Trinity, the one God. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Thou who at all times and at every hour in heaven and on earth art worshipped and glorified, O Christ God, who art long suffering, plenteous in mercy, most compassionate, who loves the righteous and has mercy on sinners, and calls to all salvation through the promise of good things to come. Receive, O Lord, our prayers at this hour, and guide our life toward thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, make chaste our bodies, correct our thoughts, purify our intentions, and deliver us from every sorrow, evil, and pain. Compass us about with thy holy angels, thy guardian, and guided by their array, we may attain to the unity of the faith and the knowledge of thy unapproachable glory. For blessed art thou unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim. Without corruption, give us birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, to be magnified. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. God be gracious unto us, and bless us, and cause thy face to shine upon us, and have mercy on us. Amen. O Master, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, who art long suffering in the face of our transgressions, and who has brought us even unto this present hour, where thou didst hang upon the life giving tree, and didst make a way into paradise for the wise thief, and by death didst destroy death. Be gracious unto us, sinners, and thine unworthy servants, for we have sinned and committed iniquity, and are not worthy to lift up our eyes and behold the height of heaven. For we have abandoned the way of thy righteousness, and have walked in the desires of our hearts. But we beseech thy boundless goodness, spare us, O Lord, according to the multitude of thy mercy, and save us for thy holy name's sake. 
For our days were consumed in vanity. Rescue us from the hand of the adversary and forgive us our sins and mortify our carnal mind. That putting aside the old man, we may be clad with the new and live for thee, our master and benefactor. And that thus, by following thy commandments, we may attain to rest everlasting, where it is the dwelling place of all them that rejoice. For thou art indeed the true joy and gladness of them that love thee, O Christ our God. And unto thee do we send up glory with thy originate Father, and thy most holy and good and life creating spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Blessed is our God, always now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ Himself our King and God. Bless the Lord, O my soul, O Lord my God, thou hast been magnified exceedingly. Confession and majesty hast thou put on, coverest thyself with light as with a garment, who stretchest out the heaven as it were a curtain, who supporteth his chambers in the waters, who appoint to the clouds for his ascent, who walketh upon the wings of the winds, who maketh his angels, spirits, and his ministers a flame of fire, who establisheth the earth in the sureness thereof, it shall not be turned back forever and ever. The abyss like a garment is his mantle, upon the mountains shall the waters stand. At thy rebuke they will flee, at the voice of thy thunder shall they be afraid. The mountains rise up, and the plains sink down unto the place where thou hast established them. Thou appointest a bound that they shall not pass, neither return to cover the earth. He sendeth forth springs in the valleys, between the mountains will the waters run. They shall give drink to all the beasts of the field, with the wild asses await to quench their thirst. Beside them will the birds of the heaven lodge, from the midst of the rocks where they give voice. He watereth the mountains from his chambers, the earth shall be satisfied with the fruit of thy works. He causeth the grass to grow for the cattle and green herb for the service of men, to bring forth bread out of the earth, and wine maketh glad the heart of man, to make his face cheerful with oil, and bread strengtheneth man's heart. The trees of the plain shall be satisfied, the cedars of Lebanon which thou hast planted. There will the sparrows make their nests, the house of the heron is chief among them. The high mountains are a refuge for the hearts, and so is the rock for the hairs. He hath made the moon for seasons, the sun knoweth his going down. Thou pointest the darkness in there with the night, wherein all the beasts of the forest will go abroad, young lions roaring after their prey and seeking their food from God. The sun ariseth, and they are gathered together, and they lay them down in the dens. But man shall go forth unto his work and to his labor until the evening. How magnified are thy works, O Lord, and wisdom hast thou made them all. The earth is filled with thy creation, so is this great and spacious sea. Therein are things creeping innumerable, small living creatures with the great. There go the ships, there this dragon, and thou hast made to play therein. All things wait on thee to give them their food into a season. When thou givest it them, they will gather it. When thou openest thy hand, all things shall be filled with goodness. When thou turnest away thy face, they shall be troubled. Thou wilt take their spirit, and they shall cease, and unto their dust till they return. Thou wilt send forth thy spirit, and they shall be created, and thou shalt renew the face of the earth. Let the glory of the Lord be unto the ages, the Lord who rejoice in his works. Who look upon the earth, and make it the tremble, who touch at the mountains, and they smoke. I will sing unto the Lord throughout my life. I will chant to my God for as long as I have my being. May my words be sweet unto him, and I will rejoice in the Lord. O oh, that sinners would cease from the earth, and they that work iniquity, that they should be no more. Bless the Lord, O my souls. The sun knoweth his going down, and I point the darkness in there with the night. How magnified are thy works, O Lord, and wisdom as thou made them all. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and the ages of ages, amen. Out of the out of the out of the earth, glory to thee, O God. Out of the out of the out of the earth, glory to thee, O God. Out of the out of the out of the earth, glory to thee, O God. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy. For the peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy. For the peace of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God, and the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy. 
For this holy temple and for them that with faith, reverence, and the fear of God enter here, and let us pray to the Lord. For our great Lord and Father, His Holiness Patriarch Kirill, for our Lord, the very most reverend Metropolitan Alari, and for Syarch, the Russian Church Abroad, for the Lord, the most reverend Bishop Nicholas, for the venerable priests of the Diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our all venerable Father, the abbot of this holy monastery, Archimedes, Seraphim, and all his brethren in Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this land, its authorities, and armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the God preserve Russian land and its Orthodox people, both in the homeland and in the diaspora, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy monastery, for every city and country and the faithful that dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For a seasonable weather, abundance of the fruits of the earth, and peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For travelers by sea, land, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the imprisoned, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That we may be delivered from all tribulation, wrath, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance our most holy, most pure, most blessed, glorious Lady, the Atokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another in all our life unto Christ our God. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. In the fifth tone, Lord, I cried unto thee, hearken unto me, hearken unto me. Send the voice of my supplication when I cry unto thee, hearken unto me, O Lord. Let my prayer be set forth as incense before thee, the lifting up of my hands as an evening sacrifice, hearken unto thee, O Lord. Incline not my heart into words of evil to make excuse for the excuses and sins. But men that work iniquity and I will not join with their chosen. The righteous man will change in me with mercy and with burden. As for the oil of the sinner that hath not about my head, for yet more is my prayer in the presence of their pleasures, scholar of me by the rock of their citizens. They shall hear my words, for they be him as the part of earth is broken upon the earth. So their bones can scattered not as ladies. Unto thee, O Lord, O Lord, of my eyes, and yet I hope to take not my soul away. Even from the snare that they have laid for me, and from the stumbling blocks that they have been working to The sinner shall fall in the early day, and the Lord shall I pass by. With my voice unto the Lord of our cry, with my voice unto the Lord of my supplication. I'll for out before him my supplication, my affliction before him while I'm there. When my spirit was fainting with me, then I know it's my past. In this way, when I walked, they for me a snare. I looked upon my right hand, and beheld, and there was none to tell me. Fly out, tell me, and there is none to watch about for my soul. I have cried unto thee, O Lord, I said, Thou art my hope, my force, and my thou in the land of living. I tend to my supplications, for I am brought very low. Neither of me shall never first give me, but they are strong than I. Bring my soul out of prison, that I confess thy name. The righteous shall be patiently from me until thou shalt be with me. Out of the depths of our cry unto thee, O Lord, O Lord, in my voice, let thine ears be attentive to the voice of my supplication. 
Should measure of abstinence, radiant sunlight of humility, well spring pouring forth an abyss of healings, O venerable one, entreating Christ, beseech him to grant to the church oneness of mind, peace, and great mercy. We admit his mercy to prevail over us. And the truth of the Lord abideth forever, O divinely wise Sabbath, fiery pillar of the virtues, beacon guiding men from the sea of life to the armor divine, who has set in the spiritual deceptions, pure abode of the Holy Spirit, Instructor of monastics, sure measure of abstinence, radiant summit of humility, wellspring pouring forth an abyss of healings, O venerable one, entreating Christ, beseech him to grant to the church oneness of mind, peace, and great mercy. Glory in the sixth tone. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, having preserved that which was fashioned according to the image of God, and made thy mind master the pernicious passions through fasting. Thou didst ascend as one mighty, Unto that which is according to the likeness of God, for man fully compelling thy nature, thou didst try to subject that which is worse to the better, and to enslave the flesh to the spirit. Wherefore thou hast been shown to be the lofty summit of monastics, a desert dweller and admonisher of those who run well the course of life, and a rule of virtue most sure. And now, when the shadows have been set aside, O Salvis our Father, in a pure manner thou dost behold the Holy Trinity in the heavens. Praying directly in behalf of those who honor thee with faith and love. Both now the dogmatic are talking in the same tone. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Who could refrain from blessing thee, O oh, 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 Holy Virgin? And who would not hear him thy no pure parturition? For the only begotten Son, who shone forth from the Father timelessly, he should forth
let us ascend to the Eastfield Tool, wisdom the Perkimenon and the Sixth Stone. My help cometh from the Lord, who hath made heaven and the earth. My help cometh from the Lord, who hath made heaven and the earth. From whence cometh my help? My help cometh from the Lord who hath made heaven and the earth. My help cometh from the Lord who hath made heaven and the earth. Now it's here for the Lord to keep us this evening without sin. Blessed art thou, O Lord, the God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is thy name unto the ages. Amen. Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us, according as we have hoped in thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Master, give me understanding of thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Holy One, enlighten me by thy statutes. O Lord, thy mercy endureth forever, disdain not the work of thy hands. To thee is due praise, to thee is due a song, to thee glory is due. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us complete our evening prayer unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. That the holy evening may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Pardon and remission of our sins and offenses, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Things good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. A Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, peaceful, and a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Grant this, O Lord. Calling to remembrance our most holy, most pure, most blessed glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commit ourselves and one another in all our life unto Christ our God. For a good God art thou, and the lover of mankind, and unto thee do we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be unto and to thy spirit. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. To Blessed and most glorified be the dominion of thy kingdom, of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Rejoice, truly fragrant vessel of the struggles of fasting, for having taken thy cross upon thy shoulder, and offer thyself to Christ the Master. O most blessed one, thou didst trample down the base understanding of the flesh, didst in thy soul with the virtues, and didst take light to divine desire, wherefore surrounding thy most holy shrine, O Allah, its harvest, we ask that by thy supplications we may receive God's love for mankind and that the world be granted great mercy. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. O God, bearing Sabbath, having drawn nigh unto the fire of the Spirit, 
Thou hast shown thyself forth as a divinely radiant ember, enlightening the souls of those who have recourse to thee in faith. O thou of godly wisdom, leading them to the never waning light, O venerable one, and be due from on high with grace divine. Thou didst quench the burning coal of the desert, wherefore Christ, the helmsman of divine righteousness, hath manifestly bestowed upon thee a crown of victory, O blessed one. Him do thou entreat, that he grant our souls great mercy. Blessed is the man that feareth the Lord, in his commandment shall he greatly delight. Thy life was clearly a ladder, spanning the gulf between earth and the heavens. O divinely wise one, whereby thou didst ascend to the heights, and was thou safe to converse with the Master, O most blessed one. Having enlightened thy mind with the radiance there, with the rays thereof thou didst receive splendor equal to that of the angels. Standing now before him, pray thou, O venerable one, that me who celebrate thy divine and most sanctified memory may stand with thee, and that he grant the world's great mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. We honor thee as the instructor of a multitude of monks, O Sabbath, our Father. For we have truly learned to walk aright in thy steps. Blessed art thou who didst labor for Christ, and didst renounce the power of the adversary. O converser with the angels, with them entreat the Lord, that he have mercy upon our souls. But now in the same tone, would now endeavor and unto the ages of ages, amen. O unwedded virgin, who ineffably gave us birth to God in the flesh, Mother of God most high, Accept the entreaties of thy servant, so are the Immaculate One, bestowing upon all cleansing from transgressions, and now receiving our supplications. Do thou pray that we all be saved. Now let us now thy servant depart in peace, O Master, according to thy word. Come and I have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared over the face of all peoples a light of revelation for the Gentiles and the glory of thy people in Israel. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord, blot out our sins. O Master, pardon our iniquities, O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Glory to the kingdom of the power, the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. With the streams of thy tears, thou didst irrigate the barren desert, and with sighs from the depths of thy soul, thou didst make it to bear fruit an hundredfold. Thou wast a beacon to the whole world, radiating miracles. O Sabbath, our Father, Entry Christ, thou art that our souls be saved. Would now endeavor it unto the ages of ages. Amen. O good one, who for our sake was born of the Virgin, and having endured crucifixion, this cast down death by death, 
and as God is revealed by resurrection, tis deed not that which thou hast fashioned with thine own hand, show forth thy love for mankind, O merciful one, except the Theotokos who gave thee birth and prayeth for us, and save thy despairy people, O our Savior. Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great mercy, we pray thee, hearken, and have mercy in you. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our great Lord and Father, his holiness, patriarch, for real, for our Lord, the very most reverend, much fault, and alari, and first hierarch of the Russian church abroad, for the Lord, the most reverend Bishop Nicholas, and all our brethren in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our all Venerable Father, the abbot of this holy monastery, Archimedes, after and all his brethren in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for this land, its authorities, and armed forces. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the God preserve Russian land and its Orthodox people, both in the homeland and in the diaspora, and for their salvation. Lord, have mercy. Mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever memorable founders of this holy monastery and for all our fathers and brethren gone to the rest before us and the Orthodox here and everywhere laid to rest. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, visitation, pardon, and remission of the sins of the servants of God, the brethren of this holy monastery. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. More than all others, we have sinned against thee, and we have transgressed, O Master, and if we have not acquired repentance, instead of repentance, accept our offering, and having set thyself to mercy as thou art almighty, free thy servants from the coronavirus, groaning in pain, we pray thee quickly hearken and have mercy in. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Look down, O Master, who love us mankind, upon the sacrificial labors of our medical workers. Send them steadfast health, strength, and fortitude of spirit, wisdom to accomplish their work for the good of our people, and bring about through them the healing of thy suffering servants. We earnestly pray thee, quickly hearken, and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. That thou mightest look down with a merciful eye upon the people of the Ukrainian land, and make it unconquerable by those who work strife. We pray thee, O kind-hearted Lord, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray to our Lord and Savior that he might preserve the Orthodox Church throughout the world in unity and piety, and grant unto her peace and tranquility, love and accord. Let us all say, O Lord, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray that he will bless the building of our new church and that its foundation may be laid successfully to the glory of his name and that it may be continued speedily without hindrance unto its completion by the power, operation, and grace of the Most Holy Spirit. Let us all say, O Lord, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for them that bring offerings and do good works in this holy and all venerable temple, for them that minister and them that chant, and for all the people here <laughs> present who await to thee great and abundant mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For our merciful God art thou, and the lover of mankind, and unto thee we send up glory to the Father and to the Son to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Wisdom, Master blessed. He that is is blessed, Christ our God, always now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Establish, O God, the holy Orthodox faith of Orthodox Christians. Unto the ages of ages. O most holy Theosophos, save us. More honorable than the cherubim, and the uncomparable, more glorious than the seraphim, who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, the Adore Magnified. Glory to the O Christ, God our hope, glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, O now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. 
Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Master bless. May Christ our true God, through the intercessions of his most pure mother, through the power of the precious and life-giving cross, through the intercessions of the holy glorious and all praised apostles of the holy great martyr and healer Pontalaman, of our holy and God-bearing Father, Sabbath the sanctified, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and the lover of mankind. Amen. Our great Lord and Father, Kirill, the most holy patriarch of Moscow and of Russia, our Lord, the very most reverend in our the metropolitan of Eastern America and New York, the first hierarch of the Russian Church abroad, the Lord, the most reverend Nicholas, Bishop of Manhattan, the all venerable abbot of this holy monastery, Archimandrite Seraphim, the brethren of this holy monastery, and all Orthodox Christians, preserve, O Lord, for many years.